You look suspiciously happy, and I don't think you're doing laundry. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I think we're going to go buy something today. Oh, what is it? It's a Honda Ruckus. Do you know what that is? No. Should I tell you? No, let me be surprised. Good sport. Good it sport. sounds promising, though. We'll keep it interesting. A Ruckus. Here's the ad I saw this morning. Honda Ruckus, less than 700 original miles, owned by an elderly gentleman for $650. Needs a battery. I haven't been keeping track of the market on ruckuses, but Seat of the Pants says that's a pretty good price, so we'll go. Jen, I don't think you could have done any worse on the lighting in here. It's terrible. I, whoa, your head looks huge. <laughs> Maybe it's just the camera angle. Yeah. In real life, it's about twice that size. <laughs> anyway, we'll go check out the bike, see what happens. Okay, have a look. What do you think? I like it. It's kind of like a scooter, but it's more utilitarian. It's got these cool trail type tires. It's been out in the sun a little bit. That's okay. Will it work? It looks like it'll work. Will you help me load it into the truck? Yes. All right, back on the road. I always forget the ramp. I don't care. I'm just so excited about it. I don't know what's going to happen if I ever buy a Harley Davidson. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I paid $625 for the Ruckus. Not my greatest bargaining achievement, but I still feel like it was a fair price, as long as it starts. We'll find out when we get back to the cabin. Okay, we made it home. Let's get this down and see if we can make it go. Okay, there she is. It's a 2005 Honda Ruckus, kind of an exoskeletal motor scooting device. The original owner was an elderly man, but he got too old to ride it, so he gave it to his daughter, and she didn't like it very much, so she let it sit for a few years. The battery went dead, she claimed that it doesn't run, and she sold it to me. I didn't try very hard to start it when I was purchasing the machine because, for one thing, I didn't know it had a Kickstarter in the beginning, and the battery was dead, but I also didn't want to get it running because I was afraid the price might go up. I don't know if that was the wise choice or not. It was a gamble, but it's also a Honda with 600 miles on it, so I don't think it could be too terrible. I did turn the engine over a couple of times when I was there, once I found the Kickstarter, and it seems to have good compression. I think we'll check the gas, check the oil, and see if we get lucky. Coming over here, I see that there's some coolant in the reservoir. I didn't even know these were liquid cooled. The only thing I know about the Ruckus is that they're neat looking, and they're pretty slow. Oh, that's why you caught it for me. <laughs> so the engine oil doesn't look too bad. It could stand to be changed, but it's good enough for a test start. And for the gasoline, let's see what this smells like. Not bad at all. I don't think it's been sitting very long. It smells almost new. Do you want to try to kick it? Yeah! You had, you had good luck last time. I don't know though, you shouldn't have all the fun. Mm -hmm. How about I try to start it, but if it runs, you can take the first ride. Okay, it's like the opposite of last time. Yeah, exactly. It sounds it, fair. Th that's a deal? Okay. So, key in the ignition. Yep, that's where the key goes. <laughs> I checked the owner's manual for that while we were between takes. That was smart of you. Don't want to look like you don't know what you're doing on the camera. <laughs> Turn it to on. And the kill switch, which is right here, is in the run position. We'll give it a try. Well, she was right, it don't run. She was right, it don't run. Guess we'll have to dig into it a little bit. They said it needs a battery, so maybe there's no battery in there at all, and that's why it's not running. I think the battery is underneath here, so we'll pull this off and see what it looks like. That came off, and I was right. The battery is right here. What a mess. Looks like a mouse nest in here. The terminals are corroded on the battery, but it is connected, so I don't think that's the source of my trouble. 
So here's the million dollar question. Who's going to have more difficulty? You starting it or me writing it? That's a tough one. <laughs> but whatever the case, I've taken this as far as I can here at the cabin because this is the extent of my tool collection. Everything else is off the premises. I regained possession of a garage and my entire mechanics arsenal is there even though we're living at the cabin. So let's load it up. Let's load it up. Okay, here we are. Veterans of the channel may recognize this garage from some videos I made a few years ago. I don't think we plan on making it our permanent home, but it'll serve us fine for the immediate term. That's the plan, right? Yeah. I was thinking about something on the way over here. The fuel tank on the Ruckus is lower than the carburetor, which means there has to be some kind of fuel pump. The fuel pump probably runs from battery power. The battery is dead and somehow my charger isn't here or at the cabin. But the previous resident at this place was kind enough to leave us a discarded car battery. That's not all they left. <laughs> you got that right. Let's see if it has any voltage. Six volts, which means it's just about useless. Par for the course. Where can I find 12 volts? When we were gathering up trash the other day, this is a lamp that plugs in to a wall socket, but it has a 12 volt bulb. I'm not sure why the universe created this thing. Maybe solely to get the ruckus going again. Good chance. Are you sponsored by Pixar? <laughs> I'm not sponsored by anybody. Nobody owns me. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we can turn this into. <laughs> Do you think that voids the warranty? And there's your battery charger, dear. Okay, I've got it plugged in. It has a really convenient long cord for this type of application. Let's check the voltage. And we have 14 volts AC foiled. I've got a place for it. What do you get for 10 these days? Three cents a pound? Maybe we should just buy a battery. Are you crazy? I'm married to you. <laughs> there has to be something. You know what, I may be on the wrong course altogether. Did you sacrifice my best trash lamp for nothing? It wasn't for nothing. It was for science. Maybe the fuel pump operates off vacuum or mechanical rotation of the engine. Let's see if there's any gas in the float bowl. There's something in there. So what does that mean? Nothing conclusively. It means there was some fuel in the float bowl. It might not have been enough to make the engine run. It might just be residual from the last time it was started. But it may also mean that it has plenty of gas and my problem lies elsewhere. Let's grab a battery out of the Dodge and we'll hook it up that way. You need some help, old man? And that should do it. On. Ooh. Signs of life. I'm disappointed. The horn works. Turn it turn it on again. I thought I heard something. <laughs> Not the greatest. It sounds terrible. It sounds like an old tractor. Did they set their idle at 150 RPM? It runs. Come on, that's good. Yes. It dies when I get the gas though. I bet the carburetor's dirty. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Cleaning the carburetor, I did the next best thing. I just kept pushing the starter button. It's still boggy though. Hard to say if that's just the old gas in the tank or if the carburetor needs cleaned. 
it's easier to drain the gas and replace it with new than it is to start tearing apart the engine. So that's what we'll try first. It's hard to siphon out of a gas tank that's so low. That looks safe. You can tell by the creaking. Careful. That's where she stays. It's pretty brown. Yeah, it's actually much worse than I thought. So is your hair. But that's good because that means there's a better chance of new gas making it run better. The gas is drained. Let's take this down and put in some new. Okay, fresh gas in the tank and on the floorboard. I think that's the fuel pump. Did you hear that? I did. It is the fuel pump. Sounds like a Honda again. I think there's only one thing left to do now. What was the deal? If I got it running, I got to take the first ride. Wait, no, 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 no. It's worth a try. You know what we forgot though? A helmet. Yeah, I need a helmet. How about we take this up to the cabin. On the way, we grab a battery and you can take your maiden voyage up there. Sounds good. Do you actually have the ramp this time? Yeah, I, I wear it around my neck, can't you see? Nice necklace. I got the battery. They had the one I need right there on the shelf. There we go. Now, it's time to see if this scooter was worth the money. Jen! Yeah? Jen, what? can you come outside for a minute? Oh dear. You're on camera, if you didn't notice. <laughs> I see that. I've got a question for you, and you can be honest with me and the viewers. Okay. How are you feeling today? <laughs> Uneasy. A little bit anxious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got a lot of stuff going on. Do you have a few moments to spare for a little experiment? Okay. Can you do that for me? I can do that. Okay. Get some sneakers on <laughs> and then meet me up at the road, okay? Okay. I am not thrilled about this. Maybe it'll just tip over and break. As you may or may not be aware, Jennifer, in just a few moments, you are going to take your first ever scooter ride. Yay. How do you feel? Queasy. So put on this helmet, and just so everyone has an accurate context, what would you estimate your total motorcycle riding time to be? For the course of 13 or 14 years, four hours? So you're not a veteran to the sport. Oh, I'm an old hand. <laughs> I think you look pretty good on there. Okay, let me check you out on the controls. Turn this switch to the run position. Pull in your rear brake. Now push the starter button. As you rev the engine, the transmission will automatically engage and make the motorcycle start to move. If you want to slow down, release the throttle and apply brake. You should probably bias the rear brake but don't be afraid to use the front brake as well. Three, two, one, go! I'm done. <laughs> you rode the ruckus. You can do it. Come on, steady, steady, steady lass. Yeah, yeah. You got it now. I didn't know if you were coming back. I don't want to. Do you like it? This is fun. Are you still in a terrible, toxic mood. I'm never in a bad mood. I'm a smiler. Are you happier now than you were before? Yes. Good. It would be hard to top that though. Does it run pretty good? It runs good. It's fun. Good. I think it was a good purchase. I think so. I think if we had to sell it, we could make a few dollars and 
That smile is priceless. Thanks for watching.